All right, guys. Well, if you're here for a fish keeping video, unfortunately, that is not what you're going to see today. I have made the decision that we're going to go ahead and put together this call out video. And the reason is, is because if you look on the screen here, there's like a thousand comments of people asking what happened to you and Fanatic? Are y'all still cool? Or are you still hanging out? And the answer to that is absolutely not. Have you seen this dude's content lately? Like seriously, like I, I, my seven year old and his second grade class could put together better content in all honesty. I mean, how many gallon jugs of chocolate milk can you explode in your face? <laughs> I mean, honestly, how many gallons of chocolate milk can you explode in your face? How many golf courses can you go to and destroy? How many billboards can you scale illegally? How many times can you take a U-Haul truck off-roading? I mean, it gets endless with just stupidity and ridiculousness. And I just, I'm sorry, but I cannot be a part of that anymore. So let's talk about... Not to mention the fact that, in all honesty, I don't know really why I hung out with him anyway, because he was a terrible fish keeper. Like, he doesn't even own any fish anymore. All the fish are dead. <laughs> That's not cologne. <laughs> it's room spray. Wow. He's a terrible fish keeper. That's where you were at. Actually, I probably won't put that in there, because that's not true. Well, I mean, so. <laughs> The content has just gotten ridiculous, and to be honest, it's just not my style of thing, you know? I, I'm, I mean, Brenton's like the 2021 Walmart Danny Duncan. The Aldi version of David Dobrik. I don't even know what to say. So what we're going to be talking about today is what exactly happened. And now somebody's at my door. Probably the yard guy. Give me just a second. Alright, it was the yard guy, so... Okay, well now that the yard guy's taken care of, like I was saying, Brenton's like the Walmart version of Danny, Danny Duncan. Duncan. Like uh, the Aldi, Aldi version of David Dobrik. Like the broke version of Paul Cafe. <laughs> 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 Welcome back to another video! <laughs> like at one point he was actually going to the gym and working out. He was actually, I mean like he had had a chance to take over catch them all as far as size and girth went, but then I don't know what happened. He just it like, went, it declined. It did. It went down. Yeah, life's been rough. Uh, I got pregnant. Um, that was that was a hard one. I've never been pregnant before, so I didn't really know what to expect. But hey, hey, welcome back. Welcome back, sir. So like all these people have been wondering, though, like what happened? So to you, you I, I I I flew to uh, Puerto Rico and lived there for a few months. And we just pre-uploaded. And that's kind of like where, because you couldn't leave your kid. Yeah. If that's where I recall, that's what happened. It might be wrong though. Well, I mean, you did break in and steal all my Pokemon cards and you've been selling them at handheldstocks.com for like five months. That was not a intentional plug, but we will mean it in that way. So if anybody that watches my videos has happened to visit handheldstocks.com and purchased Pokemon cards from Brenton, please know that I would like you to return them <laughs> immediately. <laughs> there will be no more phone calls. There will be no more appreciating <laughs> assets those are my cards there's actually uh no return policy so due to covid that's why we're doing that can't give you your money back <laughs> i already spent it so really to answer the question is is nothing happened no this was all a social experiment for the last six months just to see if people would actually even notice if they cared and, and the, it turns out they did they did actually care a they lot. wanted to know like outside of the videos like we hung out all the time well while we're sitting here talking like right now on the screen you're probably seeing a bunch of photographs of brenton when he was younger and uh <laughs> I will tell you, he was an extreme fisherman. No, don't do this to oh. me. <laughs> oh, I am. I figured it's a good good way to get back at you for being a <laughs> dick. So, yeah, you guys, I don't cuss on my channel, but today I did, so I put that out. <laughs> today I did. I felt like this was the right thing to do, you know? It was like, come out and tell you guys why. You know, I, I do get a lot of comments. People are like, you know, I'm better off watching Chris than you because I don't make the fish keeping videos anymore. Do they really say that? Yeah. Do you, you, Thanks, guys. Do you guys know what happened? YouTube age restricted me because I filmed 
those some of those fish videos why just me i don't i don't know and it was literally the video of when i was in the tank and you were drowning me yeah they age restricted my entire channel from those videos so we've got to switch content not to mention too though like you know a lot of the rescue videos like we can't even I mean, we can't even really do rescue videos anymore very well because of the fact that YouTube has been banning rescue videos even though they were accurate and real yeah there's so many people doing like the fake rescue videos that YouTube is catching on to it regardless ours were real I mean we didn't fake any of them but the fact that so many people are they're almost like blacklisting you if you're making those rescue videos and those were primarily the videos we made yeah. so I literally had to 180 my content but we I still love the content I'm making you know it's a lot of people off that's true so that's okay though that's okay i mean like there's been a lot of controversy in your life lately i mean yeah like, we're talking like today is the 17th of june uh, so i did live I, in florida until yeah, yesterday i just got back from aquashella uh and there's a lot with, of controversy yeah too. <laughs> hanging out with jacob fetter and uh you know i did see brenton for one minute while i was there i was gonna see him a lot longer but something happened that prevented that we won't talk about that but controversy is just like all around you dude like it it's seriously like I, I was supposed to live in florida with jake one victoria uh, if you guys don't know jake one he's my videographer he's been like my best friend since i was a kid you guys saw him in me and chris's channel like a long time ago he did yeah so now i no longer live in florida so i'm pretty sure me and chris are gonna be together every day yeah i mean it's it's a lot it's a lot easier to, uh, you know, move into a house that's got like five bedrooms and three full bathrooms and big kitchen. Like, you know, you do like. Are you talking about me moving in here? You should. You should totally move in here. That was actually the plan. We set that up um, <laughs> as like a, to see what you guys would think. Yeah. But no, all my stuff's in Chris's bedroom now because my mom kicked me out. Yeah. Um, well, he's in the back bedroom back there. But yeah. yeah you know. so. It's okay. It's okay. It's not, but no, that, that's, that's, it smells like fish in here. Like I literally have a tank of goldfish in my kitchen and Victoria's over there eating them like they're chips. Like, can you grab that tank of goldfish and just show everybody? Like that's like a Come whole on, tank. Come on, Victor. Like she has my entire tank of goldfish. Like the only person I've ever seen eat a live goldfish is Steve-O and then he threw it back up and it survived. You having a snack now? I've never been on this channel. Actually, yes I have. Yes you have. <laughs> yes you have. Got it. Turning eight things on. It looks nice. <laughs> wow! You went off. It, was, it looks great. I love it. Oh when God. did you do this? You know what's terrible? What? That's the worst reaction ever. No, I'm not gonna lie. It does look pretty. Dumb. No, no. We've already done this once, though. Like, yeah, people just don't know just, that. Yeah. The camera just glitch. Do you like it? Yeah, that looks. It, this if you haven't subscribed to Victoria, she makes terrible content. Don't subscribe to her. Definitely don't subscribe to her. I make terrible content. And Brenton like, edits it, so. And you're doing like what? Get ready with me's? No. Mukbang. No. Spicy noodle challenges. No, just like vlogs with what animals. <laughs> she's like, fishing. I'm, I'm taking the call. She's going fishing. She's going breeding fishing. Guppies. She's going to so. be breeding guppies. Yeah, so stay the next video. Yeah, maybe you can breed some of my new strain of unicorn guppies. I think I'm gonna pay for a booth at Aquashella mm -hmm. and I'm gonna sell my unicorn guppies. That's smart. Like we should go in together and you should come and we like sell our my unicorn guppies and, and I can sell my, something stupid. My, my timbers have been shivered merch. I can totally sell something stupid. Like pictures of your feet? Yeah. Oh my God, I could. Ugh. That's 100% going on the Fanatic brand. That's gross. In five hours, people? Legit pictures, signed pictures of my feet are going on the Fnatic brand and Chris's feet next to each other. You got nice toes. But wow. yeah, that's the tea, everyone. Uh, I know everyone was wishing that Chris had like big bad stories. Yeah, and that he stole my animals and it was his old downfall, but it wasn't that. Tomorrow we're blowing up a car. We're having cabritos. What's that? Barbecued goat. My goat, my goat, we're cooking yeah. my goat. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna cook your goat. So I think that we probably should make some more content together. Welcome back to another episode. Peggy and Janice. Oh my God, no way. No way, I forgot that existed. <laughs> I forgot about that. The merch is coming soon.